Okay, so we've gotten, if you watched the last video, to the point where we can now run an automated deployment for our Node.js app. So let's make this better. There's, there's kind of a problem with Forever. Even though most people that I know use Forever for deployments, Forever has this problem in that for the word Forever does not include if your server has to reboot for some reason. If your server, if DigitalOcean or, or Rackspace tends to do this whenever they have problems, your servers all get rebooted. And now your website's down because Forever did not restart your service. And so what we're going to actually do is run our Node.js app, Node app as its own system service, as its own upstart service. And this is kind of like a higher or a mid-level a Linux thing that we're going to be doing and so this way it'll automatically run whenever it starts so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to SSH in as root so let me exit and let me SSH into my server as root actually before I do that I'm going to SSH in as deploy and I'm going to stop my current if I go forever list I've got it running so I'm gonna go forever stop all stop my existing forever service now I'm going to log in as root okay so I'm logged in as root and now I'm going to create this file etsy init node app let me actually go into etsy init c e c init okay so if I do a file list these are all the services that are starting on boot up um, so basically if I create a new dot conf file a new configuration file then that service will also start so I'm going to copy and paste this code right here, and I'm going. Actually, I run this command first. I will edit this file with Nano. Uh, I prefer Vim. Basically, Nano and Vim are text editors for your terminal. Since we don't really have a graphical user interface, we have to use a terminal text editor. Vim is better, but Nano is easier. So we'll be using Nano for this example. If you're new to that, and so now I'm in a file to edit. I'm going to copy this code. And let's paste it in. There we go. So this is going to be my configuration file. When do we start? When file system and networking are started. That's when we start our service. And then we're going to change directory into home deploy node app. That's where we are automatically. That's where flight plan is pushing all our stuff to. And then we're going to set some environment variables that our node app can listen to. So if this is a staging server, we would change that to staging. And then our port, whatever our node port is, and this is the actual command to run our service. Uh, we're finding node, and then we're running bin www. So that should make perfect sense to you. I'm going to control X, say Y, hit enter. And there we go, now we have a service. So I can go start node app, and it's running. So let me go back over here, hit refresh. And you remember I stopped the forever service and it's still running because I've started this. So I can go stop node app. And I can hit refresh and it's dead, dead service. So start node app again. And once again, that's because it's called node app.conf. Whatever you call the file is what the service name will be. So now my service has been created. Um, my next step is going to be give my deploy user the password or the ability to run that command that's really a root level command controlling services and so since my no, since my deploy user is a part of the sudo group i can run sudo restart node app but it's going to ask for a password and i don't want to do that because i want this to be automated so i'm going to copy this command and i'm going to paste this command in and that will what what did i do i guess i didn't copy it did i ah ruining everything there we go so now it is, I have added that command in, I've added that ability in. And what that did is if you type vi sudo, this is all the sudo permissions. And what I did is I just appended that to the end of my file. So I'm deploy, a deploy now has the ability to run restart node app. Uh, if you also want to give your deploy script the ability to run start node app and stop node app, you can run sbin start node app. And then sbin stop node app. Or if you wanted to give the ability to run all um, any services, stop start any services, just leave node app off. So I'm not going to save this. No, don't save. I only want my my deploy user to be able to passwordlessly restart the app. Uh, that's as little permissions as I need. So now I can exit out. 
Let's get out of there. And now all I have to do is go adjust my flight plan file, my flight plan.js. I'm going to remove these two lines where I'm using forever. Don't use forever anymore. Let's use this sudo restart node app. There we go. So let's go into exec sudo restart node app. Let's test deploy this fly production. And it's moving. There you go. Finished just fine. It was actually slightly faster, it felt like. And my service is still running. Let's just triple check this. And we'll be done for sure. Let me go to my views. Index Jade. Welcome to title. Let's shout title. Yay. Let's run a deployment. Fly to production. I kind of like the fly command. It feels very successful. There we go. Welcome to Express. And that is deploying with Node.js as a service. Oh, yes. Let's do the real test. Um, let's log in and reboot our server. Reboot. There you go. System is going down for reboot now. And then let's go and try this. It's not working because my server's down. Server should be up in about five. There we go. And now it's back. And my service is running and I've deployed as a service. So hope this helps you out and have a great day.